The Assembly is now in session. Assembly Member Holden notices the absence of a quorum. The Sergeants at Arms will prepare the chamber and bring in the absent members. The Clerk will call the roll. Ashajian, Alejo, Allen, Baker, Bigelow, Bloom, Bonilla, Bonta, Brough, Brown, Burke, Calderon, Compost, Chang, Chow, Chavez, David Chu, Canton Chu, Cooley, Cooper, Dababne, Daly, Daly, Dodd, Eggman, Frazier, Gaines, Gallagher, Christina Garcia, Eduardo Garcia, Gatto, Gibson, Gomez, Gonzalez, Gordon, Gray, Grove, Hadley, Harper, Hernandez, Holden, Irwin, Jones, Joan Sawyer, Kim, Lackey, Levine, Linder, Lopez, Lowe, Mainshine, Mathis, Mays, McCarty, Medina, Melendez, Mullen, Nazarian, Obernolte, O'Donnell, Olson, Patterson, Quirk, Rendon, Ridley Thomas, Rodriguez, Salas, Santiago, Steinorth, Stone, Thurmond, Ting, Wagner, Waldron, Weber, Wilk, Williams, Wood, Madam Speaker.
Members, a quorum is present. A quorum is present in the assembly. We ask our guests and visitors in the rear of the chamber and in the gallery to please stand for the prayer. The day's prayer will be offered by our assembly chaplain, Father Constantine Papadimos. Father Papadimos. Thank you. Good morning. Let us pray. Lord, sometimes we wait for holidays and birthdays to show people that we care. But in the Bible, King David prayed, teach us to number our days. In other words, teach us to value every moment we've been given. Lord, our days can be so full and busy that we can forget just how beautiful life is. Help us to remember that every moment is a special gift from you. Keep us close to you and show us the treasure of each and every day. Amen. Thank you, Father. We ask our guests and visitors to remain standing and join us for the flag salute. Join Assembly Member Bigelow as he leads us in the pledge. Mr. Bigelow. Will you please put your hand over your heart and join me in saying the pledge to our great flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag. You may be seated. Reading of the previous day's journal. Assembly Chamber, Sacramento, Thursday, January 21st, 2016. The assembly met at 9.30 a.m. Honorable Tony G. Atkins, Speaker of the Assembly Presiding, Chief Clerk E. Dotson Wilson at the desk. Mr. Meeting Holden clerk. moves and Ms. Waldron seconds that the reading of the previous day's journal be dispensed with. Presentations of petitions, there are none. Introduction and reference of bills will be deferred. Reports of committees will be deemed read and amendments deemed adopted. Messages from the governor, there are none. Messages from the Senate, there are none. Moving to motions and resolutions. Absences for the day, there are no absences today. Moving on to procedural motions. Mr. Holden, you are recognized for your motions. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I request unanimous consent to suspend Assembly Rule 45.5 and allow Assembly Members Dodd, Irwin, Stein North, and Thurman to speak on adjourned memories today. Without objection, the request is granted. Mr. Speaker, I request unanimous consent to suspend Joint Rule 62A, the file notice requirements to allow the Local Government Committee to meet and to hear Assembly Bill 21 Wood upon adjournment of session today in the Rules Committee Room. Without objection, that request is granted. Mr. Speaker, I request unanimous consent to suspend Assembly Rule 69 and allow the author to take up late amendments to file item 12, Assembly Bill 620 Hernandez. Without objection, that request is granted. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Harper, for what purpose do you rise, sir? Mr. Speaker, I wish to rise in a point of order. Please state your, I, please state your point of order. I request a ruling as to whether AB 700 received the proper policy committee hearing. This bill was completely rewritten in appropriations after it had already been heard in the elections committee. Pursuant to Assembly Rule 56.1, this policy should, therefore, be referred to the elections committee. So, Mr. Harper, um, AB 700, uh, it's my determination based on information from the Rules Committee and the Policy Committee, uh, was not substantially amended. The amendments that were taken uh, were related to elections and not substantive in nature. The bill, therefore, is uh, eligible to be taken up on the floor today. So the point of order is not well taken. Mr. Speaker, I'd like to uh, move that the bill be re-referred to the Elections and Redistricting Committee. That motion requires a second. Mr. Gallagher, are you seconding? That we have a motion and a second on the floor that AB 700 be re-referred to committee. This is a uh, 40 vote, 41 vote procedural 
item members. Uh, Mr. Holden, you are asking for a no vote. Mr. Harper is asking for an aye vote on the motion to re-refer to committee members. This is a procedural vote. Mr. Harper is asking for an aye vote. Mr. Holden is asking for a no vote. I'm sorry, Mr. Harper. If I could briefly comment to the motion. Mr. Harper, it is debatable as to the propriety of the reference to committee specifically, not the overall content of the bill. To the propriety of the reference, you are recognized. Thank you very much. Assembly Bill 700 was almost totally rewritten by the Appropriations Committee. After this bill had passed the Elections Commission Committee with mostly intent language, the policy itself was developed in the Appropriations Committee. The Elections Committee needs the chance to hear and vote on its contents of what is, in effect, a new bill. This policy has not been heard in the Policy Committee. As Vice Chair of the Elections and Redistricting Committee, I believe that this House should maintain a transparent process, especially when it comes to the subject of political reform. I respectfully ask for an aye vote. Thank you, Mr. Harper. Again, members, this is a procedural vote. Mr. Harper is asking for an aye vote. Mr. Holden is asking for a no vote. The clerk will open the roll. All members vote who wish to vote. Mr. Harper is asking for an aye vote. This takes 41 votes, members. Mr. Holden is asking for a no vote. Mr. Harper is asking for an aye vote. Mr. Holden is asking for a no vote. This requires 41 votes in the affirmative. The clerk will close the roll. 22 ayes, 45 noes. Motion fails. An announcement, members, today, Wednesday, January 27th, is the last day to amend measures on the assembly floor prior to our January 31st deadline. It is also the last day to notice intent to remove a bill from the inactive file to be returned to third reading on January 29th. Members, pursuant to Assembly Rule 77.2, I am re-referring file item number 4, AB 21 Wood, to the Local Government Committee. The file notice on that item is waived without objection. Members, we are moving to business on the daily file. Second reading, clerk will read. Assembly Bill 1244 and 1346. All bills will be deemed read and amendments deemed adopted. File items number three through nine, pass and retain. We're also going to pass and retain on file item number 10. Members, we are moving to file item number 11. This is for the purpose of amendment. Clerk will read with amendments. Assembly Bill 708 with amendments by Assembly Member Joan Sawyer. Mr. Jones Sawyer on the amendments. Mr. Speaker and members, I rise today for the purpose of amendments to AB 708. Currently, AB 708 will require the manufacturers of designated consumer cleaning products to disclose the ingredients contained in such product on that product's label in descending order of prominence. The amendments do two things. One, 
They defined the term incidental ingredients for purposes of the bill. Second, and more importantly, the amendments removed the on-label disclosure requirement instead re require only disclosure on such products on your manufacturer's website without regard to prominence or any other listing order. The v this vote is strictly on these amendments. Thank you and respectfully ask for your aye vote. Thank you, Mr. Jones-Sawyer. Seeing no discussion on this item. Yes, Ms. Waldron. Uh, we are without objection on the amendments. Thank you, Ms. Waldron. And without objection, we'll take a voice vote on the amendments. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed say nay. The ayes have it. The amendments are adopted. Bill is out to print and back on file. File item number 12, also for the purpose of amendment, AB 620. Clerk will read with amendments. Assembly Bill 620 with amendments by Assemblymember Roger Hernandez. Mr. Hernandez on the amendments. Mr. Speaker and members, today I'm uh, presenting amendments to uh, AB 620. These amendments remove the opposition from LA Metro and require them to make improvements to their existing low-income assistance program. I respectfully request that the bill go out to print and back on file. Thank you, Mr. Hernandez. Seeing no discussion on the amendments and without objection, we'll take a voice vote on these amendments. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed say nay. The ayes have it. Amendments are adopted. Bills out to print and back on file. Moving to file item number 13, AB 1362. Clerk will read. Assembly Bill 1362 by Assemblymember Gordon and Act Relating to Pest Abatement. Mr. Gordon, you may open. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, there's been a lot of confusion about AB 1362 over the last several days. Some of that confusion stems from the fact that folks are looking at the bill as introduced, but we amended the bill on the floor last week. So let me provide some clarity. As amended, this bill does not mandate a governance structure for a local mosquito abatement district. The bill provides for local option and local choice. As amended, this bill covers only eight of the 58 counties in the state. As amended, this bill provides that in those eight counties, the governance structure of mosquito abatement district could be altered only if a majority of the cities in that county want to make a change. That changed governance could result in a smaller board with appointments to the board being made by the city selection committee in that county. My goal is to give local governments choices, choices on how they organize their districts in order to improve management, oversight, and efficiency. Again, AB 1362 only impacts eight counties, and it provides for local option, choice, and control. I respectfully ask for an I vote on AB 1362. Thank you, Mr. Gordon. Seeing no discussion or debate on this item, the clerk will open the roll. All members vote or desire to vote. All members vote or desire to vote. All members vote or desire to vote. Clerk will close the roll. Tally the vote. Eyes 48, nose 14. Measure passes. File item 14, pass and retain. File item 15, AB 1500, clerk will read. Assembly Bill 1500 by Assemblymember Mainshine and others, an act relating to land use. Mr. Mainshine, you may open. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. It is my pleasure to present AB 1500. California has the largest population of people experiencing homelessness of any state in the country. During the course of each year, over 380,000 people are homeless for some period of time, many of them suffering from some form of mental illness. In this state, 70% of homeless people live unsheltered, the largest percentage in the nation. There is a clear need for more construction to ease the problem, but due to many factors, these, problem, these projects are quickly priced out of ever becoming a reality. With the amendments taken in the Natural Resources Committee, AB 1500 gives cities and counties the option to also identify zones for supportive and transitional housing in order to receive the same benefits as emergency shelters should they elect to do so. After working diligently to express opposition concerns, the California Labor Federation and the Sierra Club have removed their opposition, and the state building and construction trades uh, issued a support letter this morning. The remaining listed opposition in the floor analysis all addresses the April 2015 version of the bill, which was substantially different and much more broad than the version before you today. My office has yet to receive any opposition to AB 1500 in its current form. Thank you for your time and consideration, and I respectfully request an I vote.
Thank you, Mr. Mainshine. Seeing no discussion or debate on this item, clerk will open the roll. All members vote or desire to vote. All members vote or desire to vote. All members vote or desire to vote. Clerk will close the roll. Tally the vote, I 72, no zero. Measure passes.